Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Premier Elements, and here we are in Premier Elements. One of the most interesting tools in Premier Elements is a tool Adobe has spent considerable time refining, and that is the motion tracking tool. Motion tracking will lock on to an object moving from left to right or right to left across your screen, and it will follow it across the screen. Once it's following that object, you can attach a title, you can attach a graphic, you can even attach a picture in picture video to it. And that object then will follow the tracked object across the screen. I'll show you what I mean. Now, before we open up the tracking tool, I do want to do one thing here on the timeline. I'm going to up to the top of the program, select text, new text, default text. I'm just going to type in the name Kathy here. And I'm going to make it larger just by selecting the text block here with the selection tool and then dragging a corner of it like that. And once I've made that title, I'm going to select it here on the timeline and delete it. It seems like a strange thing to do. But what I've done is that I've created the title and made it into a media clip that's here in our project assets panel. I'll show you why I did that in a moment. But let's open up the motion tracking tool by selecting a clip on our timeline and then going over to the toolkit on the right hand side and selecting motion tracking. Now there are three steps to motion tracking. One is that you designate an object on screen you're going to track. Two is that you create the track itself, which is the little link that follows the image around. And thirdly, you attach an object to it that will then follow your motion track across the screen. So we've got a woman riding a bicycle. I'm just going to scrub through it here from beginning to end. She starts in the distance. She goes past the camera and off in the distance. Now there is no way for the tracking tool to track her the entire video clip because she's in and out of shadows. It's going to have trouble identifying her. And then once we get over to this part here, she goes into the shadows and her back is to us. So the motion tracking tool isn't going to be able to follow her from beginning to end of the clip. Let's find a spot here where she becomes identifiable. We'll bring her out of the shadows and right about here, we can see her pretty clearly. So this is where we're going to begin our motion track. And then I'm going to click the select object button here on the left. This creates a selection box. And all I need to do is just drag in the corners of the selection box to designate the object we're going to track. And the more distinct that object is from the background, the more easily it is identifiable, the better this track is going to work. Now, once we've designated the object, we click on track object. The program is going to analyze it. And there we go. Now I can drag the CTI here in the timeline and we can see this is where the track begins. And as you can see, it follows her very nicely across the screen off to the other side, and then it loses her right about well it actually follows her pretty far loses her right about there but we can follow her now with our tracked object by the way you can have several tracks running on a single clip at one time but that's a whole other tutorial now you notice that by default the graphics menu opens up here on the right and there are 300 graphics in here many of these animated that you can overlay onto the track it opens by default here into one of my favorites, Thought and Speech Bubbles, but we'll get to that in a moment. You remember we created a title that said Kathy. It's over here in Project Assets. Notice Project Assets is now on the right-hand side, the upper right of the interface. We can click that, and I can drag this title right down onto that yellow box, and when I let go, we can change it if we'd like, but we'll just leave it the way it is. And there is the object. I can position it, say, right above her head, and now it's going to follow her the whole way across the track. There we go. Very nice. So let's delete that. And with the track object selected here, right there at the very beginning, we'll instead drag one of our thought and speech bubbles. Now, a number of these graphics over here on the right have a little flag over the upper right hand corner that tells you it's not yet downloaded from Adobe, but the very first time you use it, it's automatically downloaded and forever on your computer. Here's one that's already on my computer, so I'm going to drag it over. And you notice that when I drag it onto my preview window, I can customize the text. So I'm just going to make it look like she's saying hello. Click OK. 
There's our object. We can position it. We can even resize it by grabbing on the corner handles. But this will do nicely. And as you can see, it follows her the whole way across the screen. There we go. Don't worry about those little blue dots you're seeing. That's just part of the tool at work. And once we leave the motion tracking area, those will not be visible. So very nicely. Now, this object that we placed on top of it, this graphic, is a title. And although it looks very small, it's actually a full screen title that's been placed as a picture in picture overlay. So if I wanted to edit it, all I would need to do is double click on the little clip here on my timeline. And you can see it opens up full screen in the title adjustments area. And here I can do standard title adjustments. I can change the font. I can change the color. I can, of course, change the text. And once I've done, I just close that adjustments area and we go right back into our video clip. It works very nicely, very smoothly, and as long as it can identify the object, it does a really good job. Now, if you want to know more about this tool, if you want to know more about all the tools in Premiere Elements, check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about the program, the moviepix.com guide to Premiere Elements is your guide to everything the program does. I'm Steve Grisetti, and I'm the author, and I hope to see you again real soon.